The Sweat app, owned and released in May 2017 by professional personal trainer Kayla Itzinas, has in the past three years changed the lives of millions of women. With a 4.4 star rating on iTunes and over 30 million app downloads worldwide, Sweat is the most popular fitness app on both iOS and Google Play. This revolutionary technology features follow-along workouts from one of the five programs by various female trainers specialised towards losing weight, weight training, post-pregnancy workouts, yoga and mindfulness, HIIT training and muscle building. Alongside the workouts, Sweat tailors to a wide target audience by providing quick and easy meal plans for women of all demographic and geographic locations. When compared to competitors, Sweat's innovation and uniqueness cannot be matched. Innovation is the combination of originality and application to produce a premium product that consumers perceive to be superior over other competing products. It's seen us effectively used innovative marketing in the making of Sweat to perform beyond what the competition was capable of and created value and satisfaction for consumers. When compared to the competing female fitness programs, such as the 12-week body transformation by Michelle Bridges and Tammy Fit by Tammy Hembrow, it becomes obvious why Sweat is rated so highly amongst the female fitness industry. The app has revolutionised the female fitness community and in doing so shows its innovation through the combination of revolutionary technology, comprehensive fitness and nutrition plans and effortless accessibility to create the most superior female fitness app of the century. To stand out amongst the competitive market, Sweat uses technological features to its greatest extent. According to the Sweat website 2019, all of the app's features can be accessed from one place. This encompasses workouts, meals, daily water intake, daily steps, music and a place to store progress photos. The fitness programs by Michelle Bridges and Tammy Hembrow only provide one type of exercise, HIIT training. Sweat stands out because the app offers a range of training styles such as yoga, postpartum and bodybuilding workouts to suit the needs and capabilities of all women. Furthermore, for many women, Sweat is more than an app. It has also become a community of women inspiring women working alongside them to achieve their fitness goals. A range of marketing concepts can be identified and analysed in its Zenith's approach to the female fitness market with the Sweat app. To determine certain products and services to match a specific market's needs, the concept of segmentation is used. Segmentation is the analysis and recognition of the fact that certain buyer groups will have varying needs, characteristics and behaviours towards a product or service. Companies and businesses must recognise these needs to provide products and services tailored to meet the needs of these specific markets. The demographic and psychographic market segments have relevance and influence the success of business decisions made within the Sweat app. Demographic segmentation divides the market into specific groups based on factors such as age, gender, income and occupation. When designing the Sweat app, the target consumer's age, gender and income had to be determined by its Zenus in order to provide the market with the service that satisfies their needs. The information, exercises and nutrition provided within the Sweat app have been designed, but not limited to, meet the needs of women aged 16 to 30 years old. Furthermore, the app is free to download and includes a free 7-day trial, then costs $20 a month from then onwards. These factors are important to Itzina's Sweat app to allow her to listen to con her consumers and provide services based off feedback and in relation to the target consumer age, gender and income. The psychographic segment divides the market based on personality, lifestyle and social class. Psychographic segmentation is useful for understanding consumers with different values and attitudes. Consumers who have, have, have a motivated personality to become fit and live a healthy life are most likely to purchase the Sweat app. It's seen as markets her app to this segment by using social media to post results on her program, food inspiration and inspirational quotes to appeal to those who have personalities and lifestyles that benefit from the services. 
She also sends daily emails to all Sweat app users to reiterate motivation levels and ensure healthy lifestyles are sustained. The next concept discussed by the innovative marketing of the Sweat app is the macro environment. The macro environment refers to the uncontrollable elements outside an organisation that may affect its performance either positively or negatively. There are six main forces in a company's macro environment. Demographic, economic, natural, technological, political and cultural environments. The environment that most heavily underpins the marketing success of the Sweat app is the technological environment. The technological environment is the most prominent force shaping society today. It encompasses the aspects that create new technologies and products to create more market opportunities. As Sweat is an application, the creators have to keep up to date with the latest software, trends and competition as the technological environment changes at a rapid pace, frequently creating new markets and opportunities. Sweat remains relevant and innovative within the technological environment by being accessible via smartphone, the Sweat website, and social media, by sending regular emails to the Sweat database, and by encouraging women to use the app by offering a free seven-day trial. These technological aspects ensure Sweat remains relevant and continues to develop new products and services for its consumers in the ever-changing market environment. Consumer purchases and behaviour is heavily influenced by cultural, social, personal and psychological factors which can be referred to as factors influencing consumer behaviour. These factors cannot be controlled by marketers, but they must be considered to ensure a good understanding of their consumers. Good marketers are continually aiming to identify cultural shifts in order to determine new products demanded by the market. In relation to its a Sweat app, the cultural shift towards a greater understanding and concern for the benefits of health and fitness has created a large industry for health and fitness products and services, exercise equipment and clothing, and food that cater towards a variety of diets. This cultural shift has created a higher demand for fitness programs such as Sweat and enables its Itsiness to market her product effectively. Product innovators such as its Itsiness need to consider the aspects of the product on three levels. These three levels include the core product, the actual product and the augmented product. The core product addresses the specific properties and benefits the product will provide for the consumer. Sweat App's core product for consumers is to become fit and live a healthy lifestyle. At the second level, marketers enhance the core product into an actual product. The actual product refers to the development of the product's features, design, branding, level of quality and packaging. The Sweat App's actual product refers to the app's design features and quality. For example, the app's design features allow consumers to access specifically curated workouts with a specialised timer and nutrition plans from the touch of their fingertips. Finally, marketers construct the augmented product from the basis of the core and actual product by offering additional benefits and features. The Sweat app offers more than just a fitness program. It sells its own brand of sweat exercise clothing and equipment, is a community of women supporting women, and has many additional features such as a place to store progress photos and a free seven day trial. In conclusion, Kayla Itsina's Sweat app is highly innovative and unique due to its versatility, large variety of quality products and services, and ability to create the largest female fitness community in the world. By analyzing the marketing concept of segmentation in the macro environment, the Sweat app is able to develop features and services suited towards their target consumers, which ensures the product's relevance and innovation within the ever-changing market. Finally, the three product layers and factors influencing consumer behaviour marketing concepts enable Itsiness to market her product effectively and efficiently towards a variety of consumers. With easy-to-access innovative fitness programs such as Sweat, the future of female fitness is heading in the right direction.